Hi there, welcome to another how-to episode. In this episode, I'm going to do something uh, quite simple uh, and is done quite a lot in most of my videos. And that is show you how to auto smelt using some AE systems. <coughs> now, I have done this a couple of times in my videos. So, I'm going to show you three different methods of smelting. Um, two of them are kind of very similar and one of them is kind of a more on-demand so I have this very simple ME system set up here. It's just a controller and a chest. And I've got this storage cell here. And you can see I have a load of ores and I have some furnaces and some coal, a couple of exports and an import. So this one, we're just going to use a vanilla furnace and we're going to use this vanilla furnace to smelt the ores. So very easy. Um, we can import coal into it to keep it full. That's simple enough. Just put it in there. We can change the stack at a time if we have a, a precision or a fuzzy. Uh, I'm using a fuzzy export now for the the ores. So let me grab one of each ore. so that we can put it into the system. And I, I know I don't have all the ores, but we use a fuzzy one so that it's able to uh, go with the various different types of ores. So this will use the ore dictionary and then uh, take the different types. So um, this also has to go in the top. So we can do that and it should um, just, there we go. And then we're going to have to come out the bottom then for the other thing because that's just the way the vanilla furnaces are. Um, I'm fairly certain you have to come out the bottom anyway. So we put out, and that was just a basic export. It doesn't do anything, can't even click it. And it will just pull out whatever is there. And you can see now that this is going away and we're getting some tin ingots going there so that's cool that's great um but what are we going to do now like this is not doubling so um if we want to double uh let's just we'll let that go let's get another controller And another chest. And a creator cell. So let's set up uh, just another one over here. And we have a another one here. Oh, no, that's not the right one. No, nope, this one. So in this one we have a red furnace, a redstone furnace from thermal expansion and a pulverizer from thermal expansion. And we also have some a fuzzy export and a basic import like we had for the other one. Simple enough. So for this one, we're going to need some power. So let's just pull out some power here. Uh, we'll put the pulverizer down and the redstone furnace down. So what we want to do is set the pulverizer to export out straight into the furnace and then we can pull it out and then we just have to pull out uh, with the fuzzy export bus straight into the pulverizer and we can do again like last time just the, all the ores in the fuzzy export bus And um, then we just have to pull the pull it back in afterwards. So the idea is here that it's going to export all the ores into this pulverizer. The pulverizer will pulverize it and then put it into the furnace and then pull it back out. Now, if you're using something else like IE2 or something like that, what you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want something other than AE moving 
the items from the pulver or the macerator to the furnace. Um, it causes a bit of complications if you pull it out of the pulverizer and then have to push it back in here, especially if you have any recipes later on using um, using dusts. But now let's um, let's do something completely different. Say you don't want all your ores to be pulverized. Say you want to keep some of your all your ores in ore form for some reason, or maybe you want to keep all your ores in dust form. Um, so we'll do it just if we want to keep it in ore form. So let's go over here. Uh, let's just break some of this grass here, and we will put this controller down like we have before and a chest on top and we'll put this in so again we're going to have our redstone furnace and our pulverizer and this time we're also going to want an interface as well as our import bus so um, let's just pull this off here to get some power so what we want to do is again just like last time pulverizer with an input and an output and a furnace taking it in from the import and we can put our, exp our import bus there we'll put our interface on top of the pulverizer and then just run an ME cable into it so in this interface we can click it with a wrench to say which direction but it, without the direction it will go into the nearest um, inventory uh, so what we want to do with this is let's grab a, a full ingot from here that's a gold one that's perfect we're going to want to put in our pattern encoder with some black patterns we're going to get our gold ore put it in here and then we're going to put our gold ingot here. Now we can do the same thing if we want to pu automatically pulverize our ores into dusts and keep all the dusks. Dusts. Uh, we put a dust in here and an ingot. And actually we want to put two because one go gold ore will equal two gold ingots. So we encode that and we just put it into our I ME interface here. And we should, oh, we need a crafting interface, our access terminal even. So let's put one of those in here. So you can see there we have our gold ingots. So we can just ask this to craft three. And it should put two ores in here, smelt them straight away, and then pull them straight out. And we should have two, three, three gold ingots done there. So that's kind of three different ways. You can use a kind of vanilla, just smelt the ores. You can get them automatically pumping in and going from one to the other using terminal expansion or anything else. Uh, with this you could also just pull straight off from the pulverizer so that you're just storing dusts instead. And then you can also use the kind of patterns to be able to or, um, craft as needed but we see we can do that and it will do a ton of them at a time so that's kind of the different ways of doing it um, however you want to do it is completely up to you I personally prefer this way I like to have all my um, stuff in ingots instead of in ores but this way is also kind of cool as well but you have a slowness in that you have to wait for the stuff to craft when you need it so I hope you enjoyed that episode. It's um, something that a lot of people seem to want to know about and how to do it. So I hope it was of some use to you and I will see you later.